All right, this is a quick and dirty, super sloppy rundown of how my business uses Zapier to follow up with clients and caregivers and yeah. Okay, uh, real quick, uh, I guess, demonstration on my current uses for Zapier. Um, so basically, this Zapier is uh, available for your team to download as uh, a desktop plugin. So we all use Chrome and we use the plugin a lot. So you can be logged into your uh, patient software uh, and whenever you have a client inquiry, a caregiver inquiry, uh, anytime somebody says something good, I have standard workflows uh, that my staff can use uh, just so that we know that things are followed up with, we know that they're consistent. So, you know, one of the first, I guess, points of contact for a lot of us is client inquiries. So right here, I developed this and you can sort of tailor it to what you need. I developed a client inquiry sequence. So this creates what is called a zap. What it is is it's a trigger of events. So right here, when somebody calls, somebody enters in the inquiry's first name, their last name, the client's name, uh, the name of the person entering the zap so that we can follow up with the staff member who maybe spoke with them, um, the person's email address, cell phone, where the referral source was, I know that's important for a lot of folks, the location, uh, and then their needs. So once this zap is filled out, um, it does a few different things. I'm gonna go ahead and create a fake one. Uh, I'll just put my name, and I need to fix a few things in this zap. Uh, my last name is Strachan. Uh, client name, we'll just say dad. Name of person entering the zap, that would be me. I'll just say Abby services email address I'm gonna put my email address Scott at Abby services .com. my cell phone 239 218 referral source uh, we'll say Google location Fort Myers needs um, Hip and needs around the clock support while recovering. So once I hit send, this triggers the zap, right? So it starts a sequence of events. And I'm going to go through with you what this zap entails. And this is where it gets confusing because Zapier does a lot of different things. You tell it what programs to connect with. Um, and then you can fine tune or tweak what you want it to do. So um, I can go to my zaps which is uh, the one that you just saw. Uh, recent zaps, this is the one that just ran, it's the client inquiry sequence. So I'm gonna click on that. And what this zap does is, when you first have the drop down, this is the information we enter in. And again, like I said, you define this. So you, whatever it is that's important for your office to capture, you can do that. And then any of your office staff that fields a call has all this at their fingertips. What it does from there is we use Mailjet as an email service. It subscribes that new client to an email list. It sends them a standardized email, which I will show you. It sends them a text message in Ring Central. And this for us has been great. Very often, you know, clients will either an email will get hung up in spam or we will get the wrong email address. So it sends them a text message confirming that well telling them to check their email but also confirming their email address and very often we'll have clients that follow up with us saying hey you had my email address wrong this also sends an email in Gmail and I'll show you that defined Gmail uh, and basically well I could show it to you through here so this is how you program it it's getting sent to the folks in our office um, it these are the fields that you entered in it tells you the clients name blank where they were located was referred by and it sends this nice email to everyone on our team. We call it the woot woot email. Um, also, after it does all this, you can set a delay. So for this case, we have a one week delay set, and then after one week, it sends a follow up email and a follow up text. It only does that once, um, and I'm working on fine tuning my mailing lists. I really underutilize that, but uh, it has definitely been a, an asset. All right, so like I said, Zapier is hard to explain because it does so many different things. One of the things that it did 
was, pardon all my other texts, there's my beautiful wife, uh, right here. It sends a text and this is the text message to the client. Um, my field where the client's name is, I have to fix that, uh, that you see the comma there. It's supposed to say, Hey Scott, or whatever name we enter in. Thank you for contacting every services. It goes over the email address that they provided to us. And that, like I said, is what's important because a lot of times people's email addresses get miskeyed or misheard or whatever, but it gives them our phone number and it makes sure that they know that we want to speak with them. Um, one of the other things that it does is it sends a text, but sometimes it's difficult to see the text. We have a predefined email through an email service called Mailjet. I developed this email with our logo, with a listing of what their caregiver can do. They just have to open it. It's just a PDF. Uh, might take a second here, but it's sort of nice. Goes over personal care, all that good stuff. Um, goes over costs. Goes over a link to a service agreement. We use a service called DigiSigner. Um, so a lot of times clients can go ahead and just sign and get onboarded themselves and it's super easy, super simple. In essence, Zapier ties together unrelated, I guess, programs. So this is my email platform. Uh, this is where I have email templates and I develop mailing lists to utilize. It's not super overwhelming, but it does give you a polished look. Uh, I talked about the new client inquiry. This is what Zapier says, hey, go ahead and send this to whatever my staff puts in. Uh, and I think that I showed that in one of the emails. And then here's the checking in email right here. Just checking in, a picture of me, uh, my signature. And it's just a basic, uh, a secondary touch point a week later. Uh, we have other ones for new client orientation, uh, caregiver orientation uh, that are all triggered via different zaps.